everyone. So I have my paper set up for one point perspective street view. So just to review, I first put a horizon line on my paper, then a vanishing point on that line. And then these are actually called orthogonal lines, or you could just remember that they're diagonal and they go to each corner. Okay, so this is step one, setting up your paper for a street view in one point perspective. about doors and windows. So right now I'm adding two windows to one of the sides of my building. The side that faces out that just looks like a rectangle, you can just draw windows the way you're used to, just with vertical and horizontal lines. On this side that angles toward the vanishing point, the top and the bottom of each window need to also angle to the vanishing point. So an easy way to do that, add a vertical line that's close to the corner of the building and then connect the top and bottom of that line to the vanishing point. You can probably get two or maybe even three smaller windows in that way. You can just section them off with vertical lines and separate them that way. The door comes from the ground up, right? So usually you don't have to draw that bottom line. The top line has to go to the vanishing point. So check that angle and make sure that it the top and the bottom of doors and windows on this side angling toward the vanishing point also connect to that vanishing point. You can add uh, as many details as you want to the windows and doors. Think of our windows project from last year. You can maybe get some ideas from that. Do your windows have curtains? Uh, do they have frames? All that good stuff. On this building, I'm adding a pattern. So think about, you don't have to decorate with windows on every single building. Maybe you find a line pattern that looks interesting. Just remember, on one side of each building, if whatever pattern you have needs to angle toward the vanishing point. Okay, so I've added a bit more to my drawing and just a couple last minute tips about adding details. So we've been over how to do the sidewalk, how to do windows and a door. So now is where your creativity can come in. Once you have the basic steps, how to draw a building, remember start with that shape, connect the corners to the vanishing point, add that second vertical line. Then you have, all of a sudden, you have a three-dimensional form, right? So once you have some buildings, maybe some nature, if you want to add some trees down the street, then you can start to decorate your building. So start using your imagination. If you were walking down the street, uh, what would you want on that street? When I asked you to reflect about what the world needs more of, this is where your creativity can be maybe rolled into this project, where your ideas on that topic, um, you could put them into this drawing. So for instance, I've talked already about my love of animals and caring for animals. So the first thing I thought of was a rescue. Um, so an animal rescue. So I called it Happy Paws, and I'm starting to put signs on the building that will uh, show what the building is. Is it a store? Is it um, a shelter of some sort? So I put some symbols on there to reflect that. And just like windows and doors, signs are going to follow the same rules. So we have one side. If you're walking down the street, it's kind of the side of the building, right? 
that's facing out at the viewer, straight out. So that's the easier side. You can just draw the shapes and they're just gonna have horizontal and vertical lines. That's it, okay? The side that is angled toward the vanishing point, so if you picture walking down the street, this would be the side that we'd probably walk in the door, right? Just take a look at the top and the bottom of that side. If they're angled toward the vanishing point, then everything on that side needs to angle toward the vanishing point too, okay? So if you look, my windows, the tops of my windows go to the vanishing point, the bottom, they go to the vanishing point, and I added a sign too, right? So top and bottom go to the vanishing point. Your door usually is just the bottom of your building, right? So usually you don't have to draw that line. But the top, just double checking my angles. Yep, goes to the vanishing point. Okay, so think about details like that. Another thing, if you're going to have words on this angled side, one thing you can do is add a little guideline for yourself. And it shows you just really slightly how the space gets a little bit bigger as it gets away from the vanishing point. Everything is increasing in size this way and this way. You can have your letters increase in size too. That's going to make it look even more realistic. Okay. Over here I was thinking, I'm going to add more to my drawing, that this would maybe be a big art supply store because who doesn't need more art supplies? This right here is just going to maybe be this pencil sculpture attached to the building. Just something creative I rolled in to mine. So I want to see what creative ideas you have and how you can apply them to one-point perspective drawing.